rolling. Yeah, Clay here, and it's time for another video. So you're tuning into the radio, and you're looking for a station. Yeah, and we search up and down the dial until we find something that, that we like and uh, either by mood or by the type of music that we like or whatever, something catches our eye. But we're tuning and once we get onto something that we like, whoosh, we hit the button and it tunes itself in for us. The question is, what frequency is your human radio tuned to? Now what do I mean by your human radio? Well you've probably heard the saying, believing is seeing. So what you believe is the things that you're going to see in your world. Uh, for example, if you say, you know, I never have enough time, I'm just too busy. Well, that's a belief that you hold, and guess what? The universe is gonna organize itself around you and it's going to create that condition for you so that that belief is true as far as you are concerned. And we have loads of these beliefs and they internalize and we really, really never really kind of think about the beliefs that we have in our operating systems. We think of the brain as a piece of software is operating on these uh, beliefs. So it's a set of instructions, in other words. And then your mind is attuning itself and screening out the things that don't fit with our beliefs and presenting us with things that reinforce what, what, what we believe. The trouble is, is sometimes these beliefs are not very empowering. And because we don't question them, because we believe they're kind of internal lies to what we're doing, we have a question them and they might not actually be serving us. So we're tuned into that particular belief, like I'm too busy, for example, and, the, and, and, we, and we see everything around us is confirming that. So, one of my challenge for you then is this. For the next maybe say a uh, week or so, I want you to pay attention to the language that you use because that's the most direct way to um, pick up on or raise your awareness to some of your operating beliefs through your language, through the things that you say. You know, yes, I'm too busy to do that, never have enough time. Um, or oh, I've never been that great at math. Um, I'm not good at math because of, or any number of, uh, I'm saying limiting beliefs because that's what they actually end up being, is a limiting belief. And you, your world structures itself around those beliefs. Now there's good beliefs as well. So the challenge over the next week, I would say, is just to note down all your beliefs. And then you can go through that list of beliefs to pick out the ones that still serve you and are useful to you. And then the ones that you question and say, hmm, I wonder if that's serving me or is it limiting uh, my world view? Uh, yeah, that's your challenge. That's your challenge is to, is to make this list, to make the list of your beliefs, go through the list, see which ones are still serving you, see which ones are limiting you and then take those ones that are limiting you, that are lim limiting your, your, yeah, that are limit, lim <laughs> the ones that are limiting you, and recalibrate those beliefs. Throw them out if they don't work for you at all, and you, you know you, you identify this limiting belief, and you say, well, actually, you know that thing doesn't serve me whatsoever. Then chuck it. Uh, if it's one that kind of works for you then maybe recalibrate that belief so that it serves you and that you can create your reality. Seeing is believing, but ah, believing is seeing. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what we believe because it's gonna confirm to us that our belief is correct. But we need to raise our awareness such that we question what our beliefs are, question these things, question these beliefs, question them, question, does this belief serve me or not? Okay, so you get your list, go through it, ditch the ones that don't serve you, keep the ones that do serve you, recalibrate the ones 
that you still kind of want to semi have uh, but just need some tweaking. Leave some comments below. Let me know how you got on with this particular assignment. And because I'm going to start making more of these videos as well like this, if you like this video, go ahead and click on that thumb and then um, subscribe to the channel as well. Yeah, baby, because we're going to bring some more to it. We're going to bring it because you know what? I'm feeling in such a great mood to want to help help everybody in the whole wide world if I can do that. Yes, we shall see. All right, great. Don't forget to go over to uh, my website. Check out the website, soulcruiser.com. That's where I do my personal development blogging. You can also check out claylo.com, which is where I talk about a great multitude of things that are interesting that 